uh, depends. Uh, yeah. So, so basically, what is DI then? Can we define what is DI? Uh, sorry, DI token. The thing which can be used to give as a give it as a type uh, to by tell the type we can get that instance. Instance. So it is a it is a key to look up the for instance. what for Inst the instance, instance of the for the instance of the, the dependency. dependency. Whichever dependency they are asking, whoever component module directive. Whoever is asking for a particular dependent dependency, in order to get that dependency instance, you need something to look it up, and that something key is called as lookup key, uh, dependency injection key, right? And and as I said, that it has to be, uh, it has to be valid at runtime. So, can I use interface as a DI token? Yes. For example, I have a uh, I person and who has a called property called as name okay and then uh, this is of type string I person property is name type string and then there is a class called as person yes maybe. which implements I person and then it has name and then here I am assigning name this to again Rupesh let's say so this is a person implementing I person and we are assigning the name as Rupesh and now let's say in, in my component in my component there is a constructor and in that constructor I am asking for a person the same person to be injected here I am saying uh, person right and we know that if we put the class name you will get it because class name is the DI token and then it will search but if I put I person Can you get the dependency at this time if you use interface as a DI token? Right? Because this interface is mapped with this object. And in C sharp object oriented programming or Java object oriented programming, they can do this. They do with interface. They say I need this interface to be injected here, and then and then you get that. Because because there you you have a mapping for this interface this is the class mm. they have a mapping and they will give it to you but what about in angular whether it will work or not work this is very important question and many people get confused here right this is because if you come from server side programming like c sharp and java you will end up saying yes because it is interface and interface is mapped with the class and then you'll get it but in angular it is ultimately what basically wrote in typescript but goes in finally JavaScript. JavaScript. So finally you go to your your root mm -hmm. and root is JavaScript and we know in JavaScript what are the things they, there is they have function they have string some primitives that's it what are the things available in JavaScript function and some primitives like number array string integer blah blah mm -hmm. right is there any interface or class no. no we can inject by class but class is nothing but a it compiles them back down to what in JavaScript? What is class in JavaScript? Object. How can you crea create a class in JavaScript? Um, object. Just a function. Yeah, function. I told you, right? In, in our previous class, we saw that, right? Using function, you can create regular class and then yes. you can create module pattern class and we will do some prototype pattern at some time. We will do that. But basically, in JavaScript, class is nothing but a function. So you create a function and then you just new it up it will create an instance for that so in javascript function is a first class citizen you can use it as a class you can use it as a parameter you can use it as a function everything that is how they are doing angular is using class name because they they finally convert it into a function and function is a unique name that is that they use to find out the dependency but interface at runtime there is no existence so once you compile your typescript into javascript there is no existence of interface. Interface doesn't exist there. They just delete those code. They just use it for their purpose, like to do, to help you to. It's just like a matrix. Like they will, they will put a world in uh, somewhere to you that you will think that you are in that world, and it is. It's not the world that it's a virtual area. So in TypeScript, it's a virtual area where you think that I'm working in an object-oriented programming language where I have interface, inheritance, and all of the good stuff. 
but basically it boils down to JavaScript and in JavaScript there is no interface therefore you cannot do this kind of dependence injection so just remember this it may come in interview also like can you inject your object or dependency via uh, interface and answer is no. no especially no in TypeScript Angular and in C sharp it is yes, yes. in Java it is yes so that is very important contradiction between a single full stack developer who is doing full stack coding he has to know this or she has to know this because they are doing server side coding also they are doing javascript coding and they have to know this subtle difference so you never program like this therefore <coughs> what they are doing is in typescript uh, framework front end uh, design uh, front end framework they are saying don't use interface at all just use classes wherever you need it right because you can use di for that and if there is interface they use for very less reason not for DI at least just for type purpose you can use it so so DI token cannot be interface next can it be array can it be a list of uh, particular thing can 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 array could be a DI token next question no, no. right so this is <coughs> interface cannot be a DI token similarly can I use array as my DI token, single DI token? That is also answer is no. no because again there is no runtime, runtime single thing for that guy. Right? So if there is a runtime existence for some of the stuff, you can do it. But at runtime, I don't think there is a there is a one thing called as something where you have collection of stuff, right? So let's now do a second uh, episode. My in the next uh, session, let's do that. Because this will become again lengthy. So what we'll do in the next uh, session, we'll see how to solve this kind of problem. Because you, you can't leave this. You need this. Anyhow, you have to uh, inject some of the stuff which are just interface. You don't know what exactly they are. But you know some interface. And you want to inject it in your project. One. Second, you need this kind of situation where you have bunch of stuff that you want to inject into your system. Bunch of... Uh, things for example you have a home and in that home everything is not table table and chair and and good stuff like known stuff there are some stuff that you cannot name them for example uh, office supplies and study supplies like um, or sanitizers and all the stuff that you put it in your one box especially your makeup stuff that you put at your home you don't know what is inside that in your bag right you have some clips you have this and that and you cannot name it one thing it's a mix like my daughter box I check it is mixed. You cannot say that this is one thing and this is one thing and this is one. If you do one one thing, then you will go. So what, what I do is we do is we just put one box, put, I put whatever you want to put inside that. So we need that problem also to solve. Like we have some of the requirement where you have a box of stuff. How to inject them. How to name them in Angular. <coughs> so those are important things. So let's do in the next one, we'll figure it out in dependency injection token. What are the helpful thing to figure it out those are the stuff which are not in the runtime which are not available in runtime